Assistant District Attorney Artie Griffin at her office in Nashville, Tennessee, Monday, December 18, 2017 Griffin is working in a newly created a role prosecuting elder abuse cases full-time, photo, Andrew Nell slash The Tennessean, by photo. Starting this month, a prosecutor in the Nashville District Attorney's Office is focusing exclusively on crimes against elderly people. The role is an extension of long-running work to bring attention to the crime at the city and state level, and leaders hope it sends a message to a growing population of elderly people and the city as a whole. In a statement, Nashville District Attorney General Glenn Funk said he asked Assistant District Attorney Artie Griffin to take the new position because our job in the District Attorney's office is to stand up for vulnerable people. With diminished cognitive and physical skills, elderly people are prime targets for financial exploitation. Physical and sexual abuse are also disturbingly frequent, he said. For those reasons, I felt it was important that I dedicate additional resources toward prosecuting those who prey on our parents, grandparents, and elderly neighbors. Assistant District Attorney R.D. Griffin at her office in Nashville, Tennessee, Monday, December 18, 2017 Griffin is working in a newly created a role prosecuting elder abuse cases full-time. Photo, Andrew Nell slash The Tennessean the Tennessee District Attorney's General Conference has worked to encourage prosecutors across the state to go after people suspected of stealing from, abusing or neglecting elderly people. Lawmakers have simultaneously sought to clarify and update state code to make it easier to do so. More, Tennessee lawmakers announce legislation to combat elderly abuse. More, what the story of a Vietnam War veteran's death says about how Tennessee protects elderly from abuse. A 2016 law required local leaders across the state to establish teams to review reports of elder abuse, something they did this year. In Nashville, the team included Griffin, who was handling a wide array of criminal cases. When the team reviewed elder abuse complaints that came into Davidson County, Griffin said she was shocked by the volume. She expected reports to top out at about 70 per month. In reality, officials logged as many as 130 reports per month, including cases of neglect, physical and sexual abuse, fraud and theft. On December.18, Griffin said 1,234 Davidson County referrals had been made through the state's Adult Protective Services Office. The size of the need which is only expected to grow as more baby boomers age into retirement, led to her reassignment to focus on prosecuting the cases. As this demographic grows you just have this huge population of vulnerable individuals who are increasingly susceptible to crime, Griffin said. That's a reality becoming apparent to more and more families every day. This year, when Griffin's grandmother went missing, she realized the real-world implications of her work. Suddenly what I did in our office became more apparent and real to me, she said. I understand this situation, not just from a prosecutorial perspective but a personal perspective.